With the weather warming up, the rattlesnakes are starting to come out and veterinarians are now seeing more bites. As Patty Lee reports, one little dog is lucky to be alive after tangling with a rattler. All this red here is abnormal. Veterinarian Julie Miller is treating two dogs for rattlesnake bites. You have to replace your catheter, pumpkin. Okay. Hollywood bitten Saturday afternoon needs a new catheter and an IV drip. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Lucy, bitten Thursday, is on the road to recovery. This is the first time in the eight years that I've owned this hospital that we've actually seen um, any bites, let alone multiple bites. This may be leading us down the, down the road that we're going to have a big rattlesnake season. Cal Fire, along with Santa Clara County's Public Health Department, says it is currently drafting a public warning about rattlesnakes, but hasn't received an unusual number of complaints. Colleen Barnes says she knew rattlesnakes lived at the park where she walks her dog, but didn't actively worry about them. They've closed down that park many times in the summertime because of rattler sightings. But you don't think those things are going to happen to your dog. Kim Gudmundson says her dog was bitten in her own backyard. On the nose right here and here, where there's little black marks now, um, you could see the fang bites. And hopes others can learn from her experience. Be vigilant and it's not just for dogs i mean there are snakes in these hills of course we know they're all over this area as well that was patty lee reporting for us tonight pet owners say they are now considering vaccinating their dogs against rattlesnake bites Pets say it costs about 25 dollars a year as opposed to the anti-venom serum which can cost several hundred dollars mm -hmm.